Six years ago, I picked up something special, something that was by my side every day. I didn't realize what I had until I lost it. That's right, I'm talking about a knife, one very similar to this one right here. It was made by Kershaw. I looked online to try to find a replacement, but could not. So this is what I decided to go with. This is the Kershaw Leak. See the design? It's nice, whatever. What I used to have was a blade. It was the same body, but the blade looked like this here. It had kind of a claw to it, just a little bit. It's not like a hawk's bill or something very extreme. It just had a slight curve to it. And the reason I like that is because when you would go to cut something, instead of maybe a blade similar to this that would cause the knife to fight you and want to push back on you, that claw action, that curve, would cause the blade to kind of go forward, which was so simple and easy. I've looked online, I've even went to a big retailer, and I could not find a replacement. I saw Spyderco and their knife, and it was very pronounced. The, the claw was just, it was just too much, I didn't like it. And it was very wide. I wanted something sleek and compact, very similar to this here. And today, because there is none available on the internet, after searching for hours, like I had mentioned, I'm gonna make what I need. I'm gonna take you along with it. So, what I have here is a sacrificial knife. This was given to me by a friend, who was, this was also given to them. So they're like, hey, you can have it, because I don't value it. <laughs> I have already put a mark on here. As you can see, I'm gonna put a slight curve to it. We're gonna see how much better or how bad I can mess this knife up. Let's get to it. Nothing quite says wealth like using a 1970 yard sale special. Let's see if it still works. All right, let's get to it. Check this out. What do you think about it? Look. Look at this right here. That spike looks like a Klingon bat lift. Well, I think this is looking pretty good. I am going to get this little nub down here, and then I'm going to come back over it with the knife sharpener. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Let's cut something. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Let's cut this. Oh, that's a surefire way to dull a knife. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was nice. Tell you what, I'm excited about the outcome of this. It is looking decent, it's good enough for me, and it's cutting just like I like it. See how nice and smooth? There we go, there we go. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want right there. So after a little more sharpening, this will be ready, but I think it's time to go for the big dog, the knife that I really want. This one right here, as I mentioned, I really like the handle. It's nice and slender. It fits in my pocket just right. We're gonna put the old cutsy on here and see how that goes.
take a look at this. Look at it. I like what I see so far. This is nice. It looks like I went just a little too far in, so it doesn't have very much meat here, but uh, this will work for now. Let's get the sharpener on it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yes, that's what I want. Oh, that's what I want. It's got that slight curve, you see that? Let's see, I got a little flap here on my glove. Let's see how well it does with this. Yeah, I could use just a little bit more of an edge on there, but the curve is looking right. Well, it's done, and I'm happy with the final product. Look at that, look at that. Oh man, let's see, let me close it. Yep, it's good, just like it's supposed to be. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Uh-oh. Hmm. All right. There's some filings that are inside of this joint here. I'm going to have to get an air hose and blow it out. <sighs> yeah. Other than that, I like it. It looks good, and it works good. Here, let me show you again. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Perfect. So here's the thing. If you don't have the tool, you make the tool. I think I'm gonna go into business selling these. I don't know if you guys know, but I have chickens. Yeah, I probably do about, uh... If you were buying it from me, I'd do about four bags of chicken feet. For you, for you only. Right, anybody else, you tell them, I'm gonna charge them five, okay? Five big bags, bring it on over. Chickens are hungry. So if you enjoyed the video, give me one of these and I'll see you guys next time.